Crystal Reports 2011 enables you to connect to and create reports based on SAP Enterprise Resource Planning data. In this tutorial, you will connect to an SAP ERP data source and generate a simple report. Click File. Click New. Select Standard Report. Click to expand the Create New Connection folder. When connecting to SAP ERP data, you can choose between two different drivers. The InfoSet driver enables you to access our three InfoSets and MAP queries. The OpenSQL driver enables you to access SAP tables, views, clusters, or functions. The relevant drivers are highlighted on the screen. Note that before you can design or process reports with the InfoSet or OpenSQL drivers, the corresponding transport file must be installed on the SAP system. In this example, you will create a connection to an SAP table. Click plus to expand the SAP table, cluster, or function folder. Choose the appropriate SAP system. Note that these SAP systems were previously configured in the local SAP GUI. Select R38. Click Next. Enter your logon credentials for the SAP system. Click in the client text box. Type 800, and then click in the username text box. Type PA50, and then click in the password text box. Type password, and then click Next. Click Finish. Select the DDFTX table in the DD folder. Click plus to expand the DD folder. Click to scroll down. Click the DDFTX table. Click Add. Click Next. Select the desired fields from the table. Click the position field. Press Ctrl and click the short keyword length field. Press Ctrl and click the medium keyword length field. Press Ctrl and click the long keyword length field. Press Ctrl and click the heading length field. Click Add. Click Next. Apply grouping, if desired. Click Next. Apply record selection to filter the report results, if desired. Click Next. Apply a template, if desired. Click Finish. Crystal Reports generates the report as specified. You have successfully connected to an SAP ERP data source. This is the end of the tutorial.